this is the turnoff from 287 going up through to uh, Nashville. This is all the cars that are coming in to get turned off to 31. That gas station out there is full of folks. This gas station here, completely full of folks. I think we're going to pump this guy dry. Needle slurping on something. We may end up, by the time everybody comes through here, they may end up taking all of his gas. That gas station's done. <laughs> They're still just rolling in. Oh yeah. Oh, it's been going on. There's been people coming through here for the last couple of hours. Chasing rear since 62. stoplight in Pulaski they have a stoplight and when you got a run of about three or four thousand hot rods rolling through your town it'll certainly throw a kink in that parade people have been real nice well I dismissed them they were just while they're walking people are waving and happy thinking it's pretty neat which of course it is of course, if you miss the stops, like you got to go through another round, and ooh, well, this is not going to be good. I can see three stoplights from here. This will this will slow up the parade. There's a few people taking it right. They decided there wasn't any sense in all this. Oh, and that's that '56. That is one good-looking car. He's smoking now. I saw him smoking earlier, but I didn't realize it was like that. And it is going now.
there is Neil right there. I hope he wants to go on through all this twisty turny stuff because it sure is fun. We just pulled off the road, turning into uh, uh, LP Field, I think they call it, where the Titans play in Nashville. So let's see what we can see. Let's see what this looks like when we're coming in. Holy moly, off to the right, all them hot rods. Come on, buddy. Don't be playing that muscly crap now. There we go. Man, oh man, oh man, at the hot rods here. Holy moly. Holy moly. You can't even begin to see what there is out here. It is unbelievable. There are tons and tons. I wonder if you can see through those trees right there. Look at those hot rods up in there. Look at all these people. There's got to be, a ton of these have to be spectators. Holy schmoly. <laughs> well, this is just going about uh, slow as molasses in winter. Alright, we're back. Hopefully we threw all the fiddle faddle here. We can actually get something going, but look at Did all you come this. Out here? Have look come at out all here. this. Come on, people, you just drive in there and park it. That's all there is to it. Holy moly. That all it is. Go ahead, man. Go. Go. How long is it going to take you? Look at this. Look at this. Now 
and I can't even, this right here can't even begin to show you. Okay, I am back from a week on the road with the Hot Rod Power Tour. Let me tell you, it is totally, utterly, completely, awesomely cool. You gotta go. If it comes, well, you gotta go. It's not anywhere near as expensive as I thought it was gonna go. It's a hundred times more enjoyable than I thought it was gonna be. I can't get across to you what it's like to be driving down the road in the car you built listen to the motor just humming while you're passing and being passed by hundreds and hundreds of hot rods cool rides too out of the thousands of rides that are there some of the roads that we took uh, little two-lane roads up in uh, Georgia Alabama Tennessee twisty turny some of these roads some of them long and straight it's like they just paved them for us. They were flawless. They, uh, they had plenty of traction. They were dry, quiet, smooth. It was, it was awesome. The uh, well from the Sunoco right up down the road there, up to Nashville and back to that same Sunoco, 1991 and one half miles, right on the nose. All of it fun. All of it awesome. Every time you would stop at your hotel was a car show it, and all the cars are cool there, there were a couple of ratty looking things but mostly people bought cool cars to this thing the El Camino was absolutely flawless not a burp not a hiccup uh, didn't didn't lose a drop of water didn't burn a drop of oil transmission pan is dry as a bone I still had the same amount of air pressure in the tires as when I left. It was great. Listen to that motor, a well-tuned motor. Well, maybe a little rich. I'm still working on that, but I'd rather have it a little rich than a little lean for a long run like that. Me, Tony, Neil, Chuck, driving along, passing each other, passing cars just uh, it was great I want to do it again I want to do it anytime and like I say if it's around go do it it ain't that expensive life's too short don't miss it anyway uh, oh yeah the uh, drive back I went back from Nashville got up at 7 o'clock in the morning drove straight through to 10 o'clock at night 15 hours on the road from uh, Nashville to the ranch no stopping, no, uh, well, you know, well, I did. I had to stop for about an hour and a half just north of Atlanta because of a wreck. Uh, and then when I got just under Atlanta, I saw the Summit Racing Equipment showroom. I've never been to one, so drove up a little further, double backs, went in there, got back on the road. All in all, about uh, two hours of lollygagging in that, so it could have done been done faster but you know I wouldn't expect it to do that kind of drive anyway it's been 25 years since I did that kind of drive uh, and uh, it was cool I dug it once you're in the groove you you just kind of roll with it I suppose <coughs> anyway I'm back El Camino is checked out cleaned up washed up everything's in good order it's sitting back at the house in the shade it leaves me an entire day with absolutely nothing to do. And I fully intend to do absolutely nothing. You know, a week on the road, you're back at the house, and uh, I like the power tour, but I'm kind of good to be back right now because my backyard looks pretty good. Ice down beverages there. They're in the shade.
My skinny butt goes right there. It's in the shade. And I am out here just power lounging. See you fellas. Of course that view always helps out as well.